According to a report by the Russian news agency TASS, a source revealed that the Sukhoi Design Bureau has begun to develop a light and multifunctional single-engine fifth-generation fighter jet. This single-engine fighter jet has stealth technology and has a takeoff weight of no more than 18 tons. This means that Russia is likely to become the third country in the world with two types of stealth fighters. Most importantly, the fighter aircraft can be mission controlled remotely that means it will come manned or in unmanned versions. The new hypersonic fighter jet which Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau is reportedly working on is capable of flying faster than Mach 2. The fifth generation fighter will have one engine, a reduced radar signature, super maneuverability and thrust vectoring capabilities. Thrust vectoring involves the use of rotating thrust exhaust nozzles. Most fighter jets can only generate thrust in the direction in which the nozzles are pointed in the same plane as the airplane's nose. But a jet equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles, a Sukhoi speciality, can produce thrust in different directions. This allows for some incredible maneuvering. The skill is extremely useful in dogfighting as pilots can use it to gain a positional advantage on their adversaries. Thrust vectoring can also shorten a fighter's takeoff distance since it allows the plane to point its nozzles slightly downward. Russian analysts say the new fighter will use the same as the LA-30 afterburning turbofan engines Suko uses on the Su-57 fighter jet. An 18-ton jet with the Isdalia 30 engine will be Mach 2 fast, but it won't be Mach 5 fast. At this stage of creating an experimental vehicle, the AI 31 FN engine of Series 3 and 4, already tested on foreign fighters, can also be used. The layout of the fighter will have one under fuselage multi mode air intake, as it is implemented on many modern single engine aircraft. Single engine fighters are widely used in the world. The most famous of them are the American F 16 and F 35, the Swedish Jess 39 Gripen, and the Chinese J 10. The presence of only one engine significantly reduces the cost and labor intensity of production as well as simplifies the operation and maintenance of the aircraft. However, one engine reduces the reliability and survivability of fighters, limits the maximum combat load which narrows their combat potential. The new fighter will fill an important niche in Russia's fighter portfolio. Russia's two fighter design bureaus, Sukhoi and Mikoyin Gurovich make has concentrated their limited post-Cold War resources on developing two-engine fighters. That's good for Russia, which is so vast that it covers 12 time zones. But single-engine fighters are useful too and could sell well abroad. A Russian version of the F-35 might very well prove popular so long as it is cheaper to buy and fly. The new Sukhoi jet enters an increasingly crowded field of fighters set to debut in the 2030s. The US plans to roll out the Air Force's next-generation air dominance fighter, the Navy's NGAD, and a new multi-role fighter, MRX. France and Germany, meanwhile, are teaming up on the FCAS fighter, and Britain is developing the Tempest fighter. Japan is also building a new air superiority fighter with the help of Lockheed Martin, and South Korea and Indonesia are jointly developing the Burmese Falcon fighter. India is also developing MK. Hope you like the video. Kindly share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.